Beyond our hard security concerns, the world now has to contend with the existential problem posed by climate change. Both the CN and the U.S. have experienced extreme destructive weather phenomena in recent years. We need to come together to mitigate the effects of climate change. We need to lessen our dependence on fossil fuels while securing our energy needs. We note that the U.S. has taken on a leadership role in this regard and look forward to a closer ASEAN-U.S. working relationship. This is of prime importance to ASEAN as ASEAN member countries are all very vulnerable to the effects of climate change. We appeal as well to the United States to use its global influence to help ease the current global plight of rising fuel prices that we all have to deal with. We also encourage the U.S.'s long-term support for the implementation of the CN Plan of Action on Energy Cooperation. The pandemic has forced us to find the balance between prosperity and survival. Right now, we need to do more than the minimum in protecting our environment. Hence, we also appeal for the U.S.'s support for the work of the ASEAN Center for Biodiversity. The center preserves ASEAN's varied ecosystems and mainstreams biodiversity across relevant sectors. This to increase resilience against climate change and its impacts and natural disasters. Furthermore, its work is critical and, uh, and, mitig and mitigating emergencies, emerging and re-emerging infectious zoonotic diseases and pandemics. The Philippines is fully committed to upholding regional peace and security. We regard as a primary import Quad's assurance of unwavering support for ASEAN unity and centrality, with the view that such minilateral mechanisms should complement the ASEAN-centered regional security architecture. At this point, allow me to request the U.S.'s support for the Philippines' candidature as the ASEAN candidate to the U.N. Security Council for the term 2027-2028. To 2028. We believe that our experience in building peace and forging new paths of cooperation will be of additional help to the Security Council. You may rest assured of the Philippines' committed effort to enrich the work of the Security Council. Your Majesty, Excellencies, I look forward to the next few years with much optimism. As we soon embark on our comprehensive strategic partnership, I look to the future confident that ASEAN-US relations will continue to deepen and to prosper. Such relations can only benefit both ASEAN and the United States towards a brighter future.